in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, how to see us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what was be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who th through fear of death have been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God, to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, Procla proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory in his name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him, him constantly. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen, chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham, and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother in law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. 
the whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they know him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, everyone is looking for you. He told them, let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into the synagogues preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today, we thank God that we have started another ordinary time of the season. And today, we can remember how today's gospel flows indirectly from that of the baptism of the Lord. Remember, we just celebrated the baptism of the Lord this past weekend. Jesus was baptized, and then God endorsed him, commissioned him to officially begin his ministry. And now, Jesus has started his official ministry by going out to preach to the ends of the world, and then by curing people of their illnesses, driving out demons. And also we heard very, very important that Jesus went to a deserted place to pray, which is very, very important in our lives because Jesus has given us example how to pray. Without prayer, we will not be able to do anything powerfully in the world. So we need prayer. And you know, Jesus always goes to pray in a quiet place to avoid distractions. But very importantly, he wants to communicate with God. He wants to get more power to be able to carry on his ministry and then have a communication with the Father, and which he does every day. And that's why today, Jesus is encouraging all of us, number one, to remember to pray every day. And I always encourage everyone, prayer is not when I like or when I think. We need to begin our day in the morning with prayer because Jesus started with prayer. And then we need to end our day with prayer as well. Thanking God for the day and we have to remember too, that as disciples of Christ through our baptism, we too have been commissioned to continue the, with the ministry of Jesus Christ, preaching to everybody we meet by being nice people and by loving, forgiving, and being patient. So today, let us thank God for the good news and let us ask him to empower us so that we'll be able to carry out the ministry he has started without being afraid. Let us pray for our Holy Father, for Francis, that God will continue to bless him and empower him as a minister and shepherd of the flock and trusted to his care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for increase in vocation to the priesthood and religious life. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace, unity in our country today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for love in our families, in our schools. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for healing and recovery to all our brothers and sisters who are ill at home in the hospital. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now add our own private intentions. For my son Luke, for um, for his healing, for his conversion, reconversion to the Catholic faith, for the healing of his marriage, and for his wife to be Lord, 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 Lord. Lord, we thank you for all your many blessings. We ask you to continue to bless each and every one of us and bless our families and bless our school. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's salvation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lay up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we join, we proclaim. Holy, 
Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of our holiness. Make holy men for this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a good fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death the Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy on us all, we pray. That we be blessed, Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, the spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We memorial to be yes to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, our way him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ, to say to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Lord, not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other with the sign of peace with a bow. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul Body of Christ. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant 
that those you renew with your sacrament may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.